My daughter Amber was born after an uneventful pregnancy and born healthy, but we began to notice that she wasn't meeting her milestones rather quickly and in fact also had some pretty uh, concerning behaviors and symptoms. This launched an odyssey that would go for many years to try to figure out what was happening with her, what was causing her developmental delays and ultimately disabilities, and get a true diagnosis. Amber didn't take her first steps independently until just before her fifth birthday and was also nonverbal until between the ages of six and 11 when verbal communication began to finally um, come into her world. We lived without a true diagnosis until she was probably around seven when we had an atypical Rett syndrome diagnosis. And while this seemed to fit somewhat well, it wasn't a perfect fit. Obviously it was atypical and her genetic testing came back negative for the condition. But this is all we were able to access at that time. Science had not caught up, but today science has caught up. And at 23 years old, Amber was finally receiving updated genetic testing, and she received her true results of an HNRNPH2 mutation. We would learn that she was about the 80th person in the world to be identified and diagnosed with this condition, but we know there are many others out there just like her who by having access to this information, we'll learn about treatments and incredible research that is happening right now that will benefit all people diagnosed with this condition at any age. Um, it has been remarkable for us to learn about the various symptoms that can come with this condition that we weren't aware of, including cortical visual impairment. And Amber was in fact diagnosed and has now been fitted with glasses and we've modified her environment to help her with her growth and learning as even in adulthood. We've also learned about apps that are helpful that she is now learning to actually write with a, a writing wizard app and um, using a stylus, which has been incredible and remarkable. We really want other families who are undiagnosed or needing a diagnosis to know that they can access genetic services and learn the truth about their child's condition because there are treatments and interventions out there that will truly make a difference for your child at any age.